In the kitchen today, we are cooking with chocolate and what better person to show us a, another delicious recipe, Trish. <laughs> I love it when you're here. Thank <laughs> we you. We always cook fantastic <laughs> chocolate recipes. What do we got today? Okay, this is a really, really easy slice called Chocolate Raisin Hedgehog. Mm. And hedgehog's a really old-fashioned slice that's been around forever and ever and used to be able to buy in those old cake shops when you're a kid. And this is, this is quite a rich one um, using dark chocolate. Mm. So how do we start this one? All right, we need to get a couple of ingredients into the saucepan first. Mm -hmm. So we've got the dark melts, 250 grams of the Cadbury dark melts. They have a specific shape and mm -hmm. thickness. So in essence, they all melt at the same rate mm -hmm. and the formulation is such that they, they're perfect for melting. I've actually just po popped uh, 125 grams of butter in mm -hmm. there as well and I'm going to put in some golden syrup. For, for this part of the recipe, it's not as important right. for us to melt over the simmering water because we've added the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. So the, the butter, if you like, is going to run interference mm -hmm. and um, we've got a quarter of a cup of golden syrup. In fact, if you could start breaking those little sure, shortbreads up into mm -hmm. little crunchy bits. Look, I think a hedgehog can lend itself to all sorts of things. You could put in some coconut, different types of nuts. Mm. The list is endless of what you can do. Absolutely. OK, so that's melted down nicely. Sure has. So we've used the dark chocolate there mm -hmm. and and in with the raisins and in with your bickies, please. Bickies. Okay, all we have to do is stir that through and then that's going to go straight into a, a lined slab tin. So this is just like a lamington tin, a sliced tin, obviously, and you've just... I love you always do this when you come <laughs> here. The little trick is just to snip the sides of the baking paper and then just fold them in and you've got the perfect Well, you corner. get nice corners then. Mm. So you can just pour this straight in. Mm, that looks See good. how shiny and beautiful it is. There we are. So you can just press that out nice and evenly and then that's going to go into the refrigerator for around about 30 minutes or so until it sets and um, then we can come back and put the additional chocolate on the top. So it's already firmed up nicely. Beautiful. And you can see, I love the way it looks really chunky and, you know, messy on the top. Yeah. I mean, you don't want it to be too, too perfect. Gives yeah. it a bit of texture. I think that looks great. Right. We can just pour this. Now, because this is cold underneath, it's not going to take very long for this chocolate to set. Yeah. As lovers of chocolate, this is what gets us really excited. That sort of the two-tone, the two flavours. You've got that dark chocolate, which is a little bit more rich, mm -hmm. and then the milkiness on top. I love that idea. Because you could eat it just as is now, but you're making it extra special for me, Trish, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely, Justine. That's, I always make things extra special. Aww. Just for you. There you go. All right. Perfect. Back in the fridge, mm -hmm. around 15 minutes, and then we can slice it. That's right. Okay, well, there we have it, all set and ready to cut. It looks so good. So it's that two-toned mm -hmm. chocolate, chocolate on top of chocolate, which chocolate. we all love. Absolutely. <laughs> and now, so we have to unveil it. Do you mm -hmm. want to hold that down for yeah. Oh, too easy. So a nice sharp knife. And we So might... you just want to cut it into bite-sized pieces. There we go. Ooh, got a bit of crunch. Yeah, I love that. Bit of crunch, crunch going on there. Let's have a look in that inside. <sighs> Yummy. Looks so good. All right, oops, I just broke that bit, Justine. Pop them straight on there, maybe one more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, that makes afternoon tea extra special, doesn't it, Trish? Mm -hmm. yeah. And with the one that we broke, there's no wasting here. No, no, it's how it right tastes. <laughs> and this, the rest can go back into the fridge. Mm. Oh, come on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It is. Fantastic. Good. It really is. You know what I like? It's that texture. Mm -hmm. It's the sweet little sticky raisins in there. And then, of course, you get the crunch of the bicky. Mm -hmm. Hedgehog. It's an old classic, but it'll never go out of fashion. Oldie, but good. Tastes so good. Cheers. <laughs>